What did that have to do with the video? Well, nothing. And that's exactly what I'm going to talk about. What will Steven Spielberg best be remembered for? Apart from being the most successful Hollywood filmmaker. And having hacks leech off him. Well, in this YouTuber's opinion, it would be the art of being pointless. The best stuff that comes from Spielberg's films aren't really even necessary. In fact, they're completely pointless. Think about Raiders of the Lost Ark, for example. It centers around Indy's discovery and retrieval of the Ark of the Covenants from the Nazis. But how does it begin? Somewhere in South America with some people trying to find some treasure. Apart from two of the characters, it has nothing to do with the plot. It doesn't really establish anything, despite being 12 minutes long. Would taking this scene out of the movie change anything? I don't know, but one thing is for sure. It tells you everything you need to know about Dr. Jones. Also, the atmosphere, the mysticism, and the greater danger. And how effective a whip can be. And it ends up being the most iconic moment. Steven would end up repeating this technique when he made Jurassic Park, with the suspense of shipping a disgruntled raptor to his new home, giving us the feeling of wonder, dread, and also understanding of the system. And there's very little dialogue. Once again, does it have anything to do with the plot apart from foreshadowing later events? Not really, but it just screams the essence of the film. He would even drag out the time limit to 20 minutes with his opening of Saving Private Ryan. And yet, it's the thing we remember most about that movie. Seeing the landings at Omaha through the eyes of the troops. It tells you everything you need to know about World War II with the infantry who fought there. It has nothing to do with the mission of Saving Private Ryan apart from one of his brothers dying on that beach. These are all fine examples, but why does Steven Spielberg do this? Well, it's because he loves telling people's stories, real or fictional. Context be damned. And the conditions shouldn't really matter. And we don't just see this in the beginning of his movies, we even see it throughout the second and third act. Remember Jaws? Remember Quint's story about the Indianapolis? That's something that could have easily been taken out. Just his monologue gives the movie a whole new dimension. And it isn't just about dialogue. In War Horse, we get to see the faces of the soldiers who fought during World War I through the flashes of shelling. So brief, but it gets right to the point. Steven is someone who understands his characters better than he does his actors. And that's a gift. So as likable as Party Snail is, if there's no humanity to it, you're probably going to forget it.